gotta wait for my tea to cool off. Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you everything I eat and kind of do in a day. Um, and yeah, thanks for being here. That was a pretty bad intro. But I woke up probably about an hour ago um, and I folded some laundry, cleaned up a little bit. So nothing too exciting yet, so you didn't miss much. I'm just drinking some water and some tea and I'm going to do a little bit of yoga, but in probably about 40 minutes, I'm actually going to be going live on Instagram with my friend, Anna. She's a fitness instructor in the Portland area and because everything is pretty much close right now, she's been doing a lot of Instagram lives and YouTube workout videos. So today I'm going live with her. We're just gonna do like a quick 30 minute workout. She's going to teach around 15 minutes of hit. And then Dylan and I are going to teach 15 minutes of yoga stretches. Um, I don't really wanna say yoga because we're not doing like a full, full, I guess it's still yoga, but you know, it's mostly stretching because we're gonna be doing hard stuff before that. So we don't need to make it harder. Um, I've been trying to do more cardio based workouts recently, but still not a pro. So I'm kind of nervous um, about being on Instagram live during that part of it at least, but I think it'll be okay because it's only 15 minutes. I can do anything for 15 minutes, maybe. But if you want some cool at home workouts, uh, like I mentioned earlier, Anna has a YouTube channel and she posts a lot on Instagram as well. So I'll link both of those below. Uh, right now I'm just going to do some stretching and maybe like a, a little bit of a flow just to get my body warm and I'm gonna hydrate drinking my water and my tea. So I'm gonna do that. Need to wake Dylan up because he's still not out of bed. And I'll check in with you guys after that. So as you saw, I made myself a smoothie for breakfast. And then I just FaceTimed my friend Meg. She lives in New York City. And we actually have like never lived in the same place. We met online and she's definitely my best friend. We've been best friends for several years now. So it's really nice to catch up with her, see how she was doing. She also has a YouTube channel and she puts so much effort into her videos. I just think they're hilarious. And she also gives really good tips on mindfulness and stuff. So you guys should check her out. I'm going to link her YouTube channel below. And I'll also link her Instagram below. Uh, so you should follow her because she's really cool. I am now going to get some work done. I usually try to split my days by editing on my computer and then doing stuff in the kitchen. But today I actually kind of need to do a mix of things. So I think first I'm gonna start out by editing some photos on the computer. And then I need to make some vegan banana bread. Um, so I'm going to film that a little bit later. I'm still doing computer work and I'm kind of hungry, but I don't know what I want for lunch. So I'm going to go look through my uh, fridge and pantry. There's the fridge. And see what we got. Our fridge is pretty messy, so uh, don't judge me. But I think we have some uh, leftovers from last night. I mixed some like lentil pasta with spaghetti squash. There's not much of this left, but I think I'm gonna eat that. That's annoying, isn't it? Um, what else? 
I think I'm gonna make some tempeh. Um, just because I like tempeh. It's fast and quick. My crispy recipe, my crispy tempeh recipe only takes like 10 minutes to make. So gonna have that. And then we have some leftover pasta sauce up here. So I'll use that. And then I think we have some broccoli left. Yeah, we got some broccoli. So I think I'm just gonna throw some broccoli into the air fryer with my tempeh and then put some pasta sauce on it and call it lunch. Ooh, I'm gonna add some olives too. Thanks. Honestly, for fridge leftovers, they're pretty good. Life update. I ate lunch, I took the dogs for a walk, and then I just sat on my computer. So I wanted to make banana bread today, uh, but I just didn't have time. I got sucked into my computer. I was editing and um, re-updating some old blog posts and answering emails and stuff like that. So. My bananas are starting to look a little sketch, but I think they'll last till tomorrow. So that's gonna be the first thing on my to-do list for tomorrow. Um, but I drank some water and I split this kombucha with Dylan. And I'm going to get started on dinner. Um, we have some kale uh, that we need to use up. So I'm going to make my current favorite kale salad um, for dinner. It's basically just a giant bowl um, of vegetables. So I like to do kale red cabbage, I like to add in some roasted sweet potatoes and some sort of protein source. So I don't really have any cooked beans right now, so I just put some dry chickpeas in my Instant Pot. So I'm gonna cook those up and that probably takes about an hour or so. So I'm gonna let that happen, go back to some computer work, and then I'm going to work on the salad. And I'll just show you what everything looks like once it's all done. Here's the spread. So usually I actually combine everything together, but today I felt inspired to keep everything separate. Also these bowls are already pretty big. So I actually ended up cooking some millet because we had some in our pantry and I wanted to have some sort of grain. I added some rosemary and garlic powder to it. And then we have the chickpeas that I cooked in the Instant Pot and then I roasted some sweet potatoes. This is my bowl and then this is Dylan's bowl. He likes the orange ones better and I like the Japanese ones better. So I just roast this up um, one each. And then the salad I actually realized is on my blog. It's my everyday kale salad. Um, so that's why I've been obsessed with it because I've been eating it almost every day. I just had a cucumber to it for the herbs I use cilantro and instead of almonds, I added pumpkin seeds. So we're gonna eat all this, probably add some salt and pepper to these because I didn't add any salt to the chickpeas. And then we also got some sauces to choose from. We got this almond butter turmeric dressing and some hot sauce. So we're gonna have some sort of that on our bowls. How was your day? It was a pretty good day. I started building another raised bed. I'm build. Wow. Actually, I started building two more raised beds. We're just gonna have a yard full of beds. You know, coronavirus. Okay, well, I wanted to show you guys our dessert. I'm having an apple, I already ate some. Oops, um, and with some chunky peanut butter. And then Dylan's gonna have peanut butter with some of my chocolate banana muffins. They're actually in the air fryer right now, so I can't show them to you. And then we're gonna have a chocolate bar. We, all, we always have chocolate for dessert. It's like pretty much a necessity. And then I'm also making some tea right here. It's a Valerian dream tea. We're gonna have it in mugs in mine. As you can see, it has a little splash of soy milk. Uh, it's really like that with this tea. So that's our dessert. I think Dylan wants to show you his muffins. This is actually an earlier iteration of my muffins, but I realized that when you put bananas on them, the center sunk too much. So I took that off for the final version and just did chocolate chips instead. So this is our dessert. Oh, he's gonna have a banana too. Wow, it's a smiley face. Cute. Do you have anything else you wanna say before you sign off, Dylan? Chocolate's good. Okay, can you put the camera on me so I can say bye? Bad lighting, over here.
Hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you guys eat good food too. Ooh, tell me in the comments below your favorite thing that you've eaten so far today. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.